Penguin Drum is a story that can be equally divided in half according to the roles of the two male protagonists. The first half is a story based on Shoma's love and romance, while the second half is a story about the family from Kamba's perspective. It wasn't just the two brothers who were interested in the diary, but two siblings related to Kamba, Natsume Masako, and Natsume Mario as well. Their father was Kamba's father, who had taken part in a terrorist act and had unexpectedly died. Like Hamari, Mario suffers from an incurable disease as well, and another penguin hat appears at this time. With the catchphrase, gosh, I must crush him soon, in every appearance, Masako seems like a violent maniac, mentally polluting her brother and even kissing him at the end. Like other characters, her personality is also caused by her family background. Masako's grandfather was a macho man who took the law of the jungle to the extreme, building a business empire for decades to gain fame and fortune. This personality also made him extremely harsh to his son, requiring his heirs to be like him. Unable to bear this, his son took the three children, Kamba, Masako, and Mario, to run away from home and join a terrorist organization in order to get revenge on this monster petri dish called society. He died unexpectedly before the goal was achieved, and his three children lost their support in this organization. Survival became a problem. Kamba sent his biological brothers back to the Natsume family to protect them, and he was adopted by the Takakura family sometime later. After returning home, Masako had been longing for the reunion of the siblings, and at the same time was afraid that her older brother or younger brother would be polluted by their grandpa's thinking, so she had been looking for a chance to crush her grandpa. Even in her dreams, she was thinking about how to murder him. At this time, fate played a joke on her again. Her grandfather died accidentally after eating pufferfish meat. Mario's body became weaker, and countless pressures increased exponentially with the passage of time. Masako forced herself to create the same family as her grandfather had done. Moreover, just like what happened to her older brother, she must go find the penguin drum to save her little brother, get rid of Hamari along the way who takes her place as Kamba's little sister, and inevitably become a rival to her brother. The song she played for her brother in episode 10 was from the New World's second movement theme, Going Home, and everything was done to evoke her brother's thoughts to bring him back to her. So there are a total of three groups of stalkers around the diary. Nope, there's actually another group of people who Ringo was stalking, Tabuki Keiju and his girlfriend Tokikago Yuri, who I mentioned earlier. The two of them are Momoka's childhood friends who were once saved by Momoka. Tokikago Yuri's father is an artist who has a crazy obsession with beauty. He has a strong desire to control his wife and children, wanting to give them a timeless look like a work of art. Unable to bear this man's domestic violence, Yuri's mother ran away, leaving Yuri alone with her father. In the eyes of Yuri as a child, her father was the biggest existence in the world. He knew everything, and she was just this person's puppet. The way of thinking and getting along with friends must be approved by the owner, with this preference finally reaching the physiological level. Momoka de-brainwashed Yuri by sacrificing her own body, banishing her dad from her fate, and setting her free. Tabuki Keiju was imprisoned by his mother in a birdcage called Talent since he was a child. His mother was obsessed with music. In order to not disappoint his mother, he continuously practiced music, even if his hands were covered with bandages. However, with the birth of his younger brother, a genius who was more of a musical talent than him, he completely lost his mother's love and was sent to the child broiler, where he was rescued by Momoka before being shattered. What they both have in common is a lack of identity, and all their efforts have been in vain without the praise of their parents. Only Momoka discovered them before they became invisible, praising Yuri's beauty and Keiju's music, acknowledging their efforts as well as sharing the fruit of love with them. It made both of them seriously fall in love with Momoka. Yuri became homosexual because of her father and Momoka, with the three maintaining this pyramidal relationship until March 20th, when Momoka mysteriously disappeared. From learning that the diary was now in Ringo's hands, Yuri and Keiju stole half of the diary from her while pretending to be in a relationship, whereas Masako got the other half. The two, who had already accepted the fact that Momoka was missing, rekindled their feelings for Momoka after seeing the contents of the diary, and Keiju plans to rebel against the fate that took Momoka from him, targeting the Takakuro family for revenge. The two brothers were his own students who he couldn't bear to hurt, so he changed his target to their younger sister, Himari. Yuri, through the diary, wants to sacrifice herself to save Momoka. That's basically the motivation for all the characters, a chain of hate and love formed around the diary, as well as Himari. The first character to upset this balance is Kamba, 
who realized that his life and the power of the penguin hat have been extended to the limit. Thus, he desperately sought another solution. At this time, Satoshi and two black rabbits appeared, giving him a very special potion, which was too expensive for ordinary high school students to buy. In this way, Satoshi lured him step by step into the same path as his parents to join the penguin force and carry out terrorist activities to obtain funds. Like the snake that bewitched Eve, the two black rabbits are disruptors of order. They never lie, they offer the quickest, most expensive solution and slowly pull others into their own abyss. Kamba knew that everything was a trap, but he had no choice. If we say that Shoma feels inferior to everyone, then Kamba feels a sense of responsibility. As the eldest brother in the family, he wants to protect not only the siblings of the Takakuro family, but also the Natsume families. Fate and life. He has squeezed out the fruits that belongs to him, but it is still not enough. Satoshi soothes his guilt by giving him the illusion that the Takakuras have been by his side and supporting him. To ensure that this terrorist attack can go smoothly, Satoshi must destroy the only unstable element, Momoka's diary. Satoshi himself couldn't interfere and could only rely on the two people who got the diary to destroy it, having Masako witness her brother's depravity to protect the fake sister, then deliberately stimulate her. Although the two of them got the diary, they didn't know how to use it at all, so they could only find a way to capture the other half. During the fight between the two women, Keiju kidnapped Himari and threatened the two brothers, demanding the whereabouts of their parents. It was not until the last moment, when there was only one rope left, that Keiju helplessly found that he couldn't do it. Harming innocent people against Momoka's will, as well as without permission, the bond between Yuri and Keiju breaks down. The three siblings within the Takakuro family are already exhausted. They look no further and want nothing but for the three of them to live together in that house. Why are others forcing them like this? Ringo became Shoma's psychological anchor, giving their family the tolerance and forgiveness they had longed for. Before the old disaster was over, Satoshi couldn't wait to arrange a new one. He told Masako that the diary actually didn't bring people back to life and wanted her to burn the diary. After learning that the diary was useless, she was devastated and only hoped that her older brother could come back to her side. This time, it was the most innocent Himari who was targeted again. In fact, Himari was vaguely aware of most of what was going on, the terror of her older brother and the hatred of others towards them. But for her, she must remain ignorant to maintain this fragile family. She is unwilling to believe that such gentle parents would be the mastermind of the massacre, going to the back of the world between life and death countless times to find her truth. After finding it, she would immediately abandon it to play an innocent and lovely sister while waiting for the parents who will never come back to return. There's no doubt that the title of the most tragic person should belong to Himari, abandoned by her parents twice, ostracized by society, tortured by illness, and many people long for her to disappear, a girl cursed by fate. But she was the only one of the three siblings who said that she actually liked her fate. For her, all suffering had a meaning, and as long as her two brothers stayed by her side, it was enough for her. When Masako, the real sister, arrives, all the hypocrisy is revealed, and Himari is forced to face the harsh reality. On the other hand, the topic of terrorist attackers' children getting money from unknown sources to see a doctor for their sister who is not related by blood attracted the attention of the media as they began to follow and interview the two other siblings. Himari came to a consensus after talking to Masako that they should stop their older brother no matter the cost. Shoma wanted to stop him by force. The two brothers fought, and the rifts between them widened. With neither the strength to stop his older brother, nor the money to save his little sister, the powerlessness Shoma felt turned to despair. The only thing he could do was to end this game of playing house, and had Himari move to an uncle's house to spend the rest of the time in peace, with him bearing Kamba's sins by himself. Nonetheless, Himari goes to Kamba's side to stop him from taking his own life. These three siblings now want to sacrifice themselves in exchange for the happiness of the remaining two. About one of the culprits that led to all of this, the Takakura couple had actually died on the run, and their bodies were hidden in an abandoned restaurant by the other members. Himari followed Kamba to find out about this fact, realizing that no matter how long they waited in that home, their parents would have not come back. Both Keiju and Yuri followed behind, witnessing the scene, realizing their true revenge had long been completed. These two people are still looking forward to Momoka's love for them, as they were when they were young. Now that Momoka had completed her task, she loved the two, and either revenge or salvation seemed so empty. They, like Ringo, finally understood what Momoka was trying to tell them, before Yuri's ex-girlfriend got the stab on them. 
all pain and punishments have a purpose. Whether it is resisting pain or wanting to be loved, they both require giving others their own love first. Returning half of the diary to Ringo, the two let go of their obsessions, accepted the past, and became a real family to share the fruits of their fate together. Other than half the diary, Ringo also received gifts from two friends with whom Himari had debuted as an idol prior. From this last stage, the same terrorist attack as 16 years ago was about to happen. This time, the police knew of the Penguin Force's actions in advance, then encircled them, and Masako covered her brother's escape at the expense of her own self-sacrifice. Himari voluntarily gave up her share of the apple to stop her brother at the cost of her death. These actions were all expected by Satoshi, who shows Kamba his ability, making him witness the resurrection of Masako and convinces him that he has the ability to save the other sister. Following his instructions, Kamba took the other half of the diary. Next, the two brought Himari's body from the hospital together, lured Ringo to the aquarium, then burned the entire diary in flames, and not even Ringo could stop the flames at the expense of her own body. When Satoshi was about to win big, the penguin hat, which had been forgotten for more than 10 episodes, started to speak in Momoka's will, and the real penguin rum was about to appear. The first, as well as last stage, is the subway station. If the real penguin rum was in the diary, then what was it? It was clear from the conversation between the two passing children in the very first episode. The two kids are talking about the plot of a fantasy novel called Night on the Galactic Railroad, with the protagonist's name coming from that book, and the penguin drum is another way of expressing it. The process of connecting the symbolism of an apple in this work mentioned previously, recognizing that others love others, exchanging the red thread of fate with others, and dedicating one's life is the penguin drum. With the diary being but a tool of this, you don't need to look for it in vain, as it exists in everyone's heart. Momoka had the two brothers experience and feel it. Instead of just living with an instinct called survival strategy like animals do, we humans have a space deep in our hearts where we can offer love to others. Satoshi was also a transparent being who had entered the child broiler, where he realized the ruthlessness of parents, friends, and society as a whole. Everyone was a slave in prison in a box, and convinced that there was no penguin drum in this world, he looked for fellow citizens who were similarly outcast by society to start their reforms. His closeness to Hamari and Momoka may also be due to his desire for love. Throughout the story, all the characters are dedicating their lives for others, sacrificing themselves for others, pitiful children who had never considered themselves first. From the very beginning with colorful backgrounds to dimly lit scenes, the final game begins in a highly tense atmosphere. This is a game called Dividing Apples. The three siblings share apples. The younger brother does not get an apple, the younger sister's apples are eaten, and the oldest brother gives his apples to the two younger siblings. But the younger sister is a glutton, and the apples shared are about to run out. Both the younger brother and sister saw that their older brother was starving, so they returned everything they had left to their older brother. No matter what the result is, the three siblings can't go back to the way they were. Ringo took out her apple and sacrificed everything, using that fate changing spell in the diary to save the family, having to be burned to death by flames. Unable to bear the sacrifice that others committed for them, the two brothers made their final decision. One took the punishment of scorpion fire, and the other again gave his sister the apple that he had deserved. This is Penguin Drum, a force that can change a person's destiny. This time, Momoko won the match. She took the two penguin hats to the new world, while Satoshi stayed in the old world and waited for the next train. In this new world, the two brothers' places are gone, the Sauron attack never happened, and Himari was never abandoned by her parents. Ringo is no longer a replacement for Momoka. Mario, like Himari, never had an incurable disease. Masako doesn't need to search for that non-existent brother. Everything is at peace. Sacrifice is not a result, but a process. And when someone does something for others, they will be rewarded accordingly. Death is not the end of everything, but instead is the beginning of everything. As a reward for the two brothers who gave their penguin drum, they were reborn in this new world. No more punishment was needed, as the sacrifice was enough. The two brothers were freed and accompanied the penguins on their journey. Some people may wonder, why is it a penguin? Throughout the entire anime, it seems like there's nothing the penguins really do, and they can completely be replaced with other animals. This is a habit of anime director Ikuhara Kunihiko, who likes to add a mascot-type presence to his work, like the kappa in Sarah Zanmai. The most repetitive scene in Penguin Drum other than the subway is the aquarium, where family members or lovers go. The actions of these penguins are undoubtedly a parody of their masters, an amplification of their desires. 
The pitiful and ridiculous expressions, to some extent, lighten the depressing atmosphere of the later stages. The following are my personal guesses. In Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, the penguin head also used is similar to the Tai Chi image, which is actually foreshadowing, as Tai Chi is a symbol of balance. While going back to the Penguin Force logo, which is a half black, half white penguin head, the plot of Penguin Drum is a half split story. Combining the above points, penguins are indeed the most suitable animals for this anime. They stay by the side of those who have the qualifications for the Penguin Drum. Crossing fate, these penguins bring a message from her brothers to the younger sister inside a teddy bear. All of this can be condensed into one sentence. つまり、リンゴは愛による死を自ら選択したものへのご褒美でもあるんだよ。でも死んだら全部おしまいじゃん。おしまいじゃないよ。むしろそこから始まるって賢治は言いたいんだ。全然わかんねえよ。愛の話